in this world, any structure can spawn anywhere. And this completely changes the way you play the game. And my aim is to try and beat Minecraft in this world. I have already found a bastion, but... <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea to go there just yet. Actually, all the piglins have turned into these guys. Actually, this could make it much easier. Already, I have got iron, golden apples, golden carrots, although I cannot trade with them. But all in all, this is a great start. <laughs> Already got ancient debris. What's the chance of that? And this bastion seems to go down underground. I think it's the stables one. If I go ahead and make a crafting table and some sticks, and then use this iron to make a pickaxe, and already I can begin stealing some gold. Although this time, the piglins can't get angry at me. Since we have quite a bit of iron, I might as well make a shovel and an axe as well. And already, that's going to make getting more wood way, way easier. But in order to actually beat Minecraft, I feel like I'm still going to need to go to the nether to get my enderpearls, which is something we can do later down the line. There are end cities in the area which obviously have great, great loot, but <laughs> I don't want to face shulkers just yet. I feel like when I'm in hardcore mode, the safest option is to get armor first. And there is a jungle temple up ahead that might help me with that. Plus, there is this swamp hut, which is... Thankfully, completely empty and <laughs> to be honest, kind of useless as well. Let's make a boat and set sail for the ocean. I'm a little bit worried about that monument <laughs> that I might get minor fatigue. Okay, yeah, <laughs> just as I suspected, we got it. Which means I can't just mine into here. I've got to... I've got to manually do the levers. <laughs> How am I supposed to know how the redstone works? I've given up with that. Instead, I'm just going to go and steal what is... Well, that was a waste of time. We'll, we'll take the bones. But any good stuff behind here is <laughs> it's not really accessible. For once in my life, I actually experienced a jungle temple the way you're supposed to. Now then, this igloo. Normally, these can be useful, but it is one that doesn't have a tunnel underneath, so... Uh... Kind of useless. This ruined portal, on the other hand, could be very useful indeed. At the very least, it has some armor and some obsidian. Actually, yeah, kind of useful, I suppose. But sadly, I can't grab the gold blocks. But there is a bastion over there and, and a village and an end city. There's all sorts. I also think that that ruined portal over there looks so cool. Like, that should be in the actual game. One's hovering above the water instead of always being underwater. And look at this. This is something you would probably never, ever normally see. An underwater bastion. It looks amazing. Although, it's, it's also completely blocked off. Wait, if I place one random block... And then break it. Oh, I, I can't. I've got minor fatigue. Maybe if I set it on fire a little bit. There we go. Look at that. We we got some leakages, but we won't leak the whole thing at least. And look at this. It's right above a mine shaft with... Well, there's a drowned over there. We want to avoid him. I don't think this is a particularly randomized structure, but it's, it's pretty cool to have come across one. We have a minecart chest here with... I'll take the torches. Everything else a bit useless. I have still got to be very careful down here since I have absolutely no armor. And there's a spider spawn. We, we should get out of here. This guy hits me. I am going to get poisoned and then... Oh no, I'm in a dead end. Uh oh, uh, don't panic. Just, just play some blocks. <laughs> Still got mining fatigue for 10 seconds. Let's take the initiative and make ourselves a shield. Now that we can actually mine things again, <laughs> the tables have turned. We can also take out this fella if we... Oh no. Oh, well, there you go. The one thing I didn't want to happen, I got poisoned. Do I go for this? You know what? The, the poison's not doing that much damage. I, I can take it. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of the spawner. Perfect. I think we're pretty good now. This guy doesn't stand a chance. Good stuff. Alrighty, there's more iron here. And now it's time to start smelting. I think once I get full iron armor, I should be safe to go into an end city. And that is where we will find the really OP loot. And that includes the elytra, which I hadn't really thought about before. It will definitely make my life ten times easier. And in other news, <laughs> I think I've got completely lost. Never mind, here are my furnaces. Let's make a chest plate. Some leggings. Goodbye, golden one. You were pretty useless to me. And finally, the helmet and the boots. And I'd also like to smelt the ancient debris. I think we've got to go for netherite armor today. There we go. The first piece of netherite scrap. Now then, let's see what this bastion has to offer. It's also right next to the shulkers, which... <laughs> I've never experienced this before. In water, with levitation. Wait, do I now float? This is such a weird experience. To be honest, being able to float kind of makes my job easier, actually. I can just gracefully come up here with more ancient debris perfect and the regular obsidian is going to be useful i don't really want the soul speed but the spectral arrows yes thank you we can go into here and steal more of their gold blocks and i think if we dig this block here yeah it takes us to another part although i'm starting to get a bit lost Aha, this is the way down. If we dig through here, yeah, there's going to be more gold this way. And it is so dark in here. Thankfully, I do have torches just to light the area up. And we can steal all this gold. <laughs> Nobody's going to get angry. And now we have 18 blocks of gold. I never thought I would be swimming in a bastion. What's this chest have to offer? Just more obsidian, which is useful. And down here... <laughs> I'm hoping for ancient debris, but we, we didn't get it. Look at this. A ravine right next to the bastion. It's, it's just so cool. Also, guys, I'm going to give away $1,000 to one random person that subscribes in the next seven days. And if you're already a subscriber, just get somebody you know to subscribe. And this also does mean that villages can generate anywhere. So I might as well steal a bed. Thank you very much. I can also get loads of free food. I'm sorry, I've been caught in the act. No, guys, look, look, it, it, I'm just borrowing it. Plenty of free food. Look at that, there's one golem there. And then there's another one over there. You don't often see two golems. I'm gonna carry on stealing hay. I just like doing it. In fact, if I give this horse loads of wheat, 
and then try and ride it, it should tame really fast. I gave it so much wheat and it, <laughs> it hasn't made a difference. There we go though, it's still tamed in the end. Why did I decide to tame both of these? Absolutely no reason other than the fact that I, I just want to get a baby horse. And there we go. <laughs> We've got him there, right. Now we're just going to leave them as one happy family and... Sorry, I let the cats out. You want to come out as well, cat? No, nope. okay. Before I forget, let's turn all this wheat into bread. And check out this desert temple. And over there, we also have a pillager outpost. Let's not get distracted. Let's just jump on down here. Is there a, is there a safe way to do this? Maybe something like that. Is there anything useful here? Maybe the iron, but other than that, <laughs> I'm not impressed. Although there was eight gunpowder, which is going to be useful for firework rockets. Now then, what do we go for next? I think I think we should go for an end city. <laughs> it also looks like we've got a nether fortress over there. All right, we'll, we'll come back to that in a moment. And another igloo, but this time... It's got the secret tunnel. Let's first head into here and go down this ladder. We're probably best grabbing this golden apple, grabbing this potion of weakness, and going ahead and curing this fella. What do I get out of curing him? Um, <laughs> not a lot, really. Unless I do some trading later and get some really discounted trades. Got another desert temple over there, but first, I think I want to go to this jungle temple. And look at this. That is another nether fortress. They look so strange in the water. All right, jungle temple. This time, I'm not doing your stupid puzzles. I'm just going to mine straight in. Get some free iron and some bones. I'm getting a pet dog today, I've decided. And at this side, we also got more bones. This is making me realize how terrible jungle temples are. Now then, I think I'm ready. Ready to take on the end city. And look at that behind it. A woodland mansion. I didn't even see that before. But woodland mansions are pretty dangerous places. So hopefully I can first get some OP stuff from this end city. Let's also craft a bucket, which is going to be very useful for me to be able to MLG if I get shot up by a shulker. Right, can we take this guy out now? We've got shields. Shields are pretty useful against these guys. I just crit in it. There we go. Take the hit. We got a shulker shell. Nice. Okay. He's teleported away, but we, we did get a bit of levitation. In fact, we can fly on up to him now. This was your downfall, good sir. There we go. Perfect. Now let's grab that. So we can make our first shulker box if we need to. Let's now head on up here. This feels very, very strange to be doing this in the overworld. There we go. Another one. Wow, these drop rates are insane. <laughs> if I manage to not get hit by a shulker in here... It's going to be a miracle, but I'm doing it. Okay, let's just keep doing that. Another one down. Okay, I, I got hit. There we go. It was nice while it lasted, I guess. Let's just take out this guy if we can. We can't quite. Thankfully, these guys aren't causing me too much trouble. Let's just get rid of you. And now we've just got these two fellas. I jump like this. I've got to try. Oh, what a dodge. Yeah, you can't get near me. We can now take him out. Come over to you. Ah, uh, you've closed up. Well, that was your big mistake. A couple more crits, and he is gone. And this chest has got Curse of Action, which is fine. Blast to be honest, both of this is, is kind of useless to me. Although apparently me villager has just cured, so that's good. Oh, oh no, it's this place. This is this is probably the one place I didn't want to be because it's just shulkers everywhere. It's just a nightmare. Do we do we parkour up? Do we float up? You know, you, you just gotta like keep moving and dodge them, and <laughs> it's a bit of a nightmare place. But on the plus side, if we make it to the top. We will have access to more good loot. Let's see what we got. We got diamonds. That's good. I just want to check I don't get anything on me. All right. That's really good. Let's just block ourselves up and let's grab some of this OP gear. I'm pleased to say that iron armor is becoming a thing of the past. So now that I've got that, I still want to... Look at this. There's snow up here. <laughs> Didn't expect to see this. As I was saying, now I've got that, I still want to try and find a bit more diamond loot. It might even be my best idea to try and get over to the end ship now. Let's jump down here. And can we, I think if we maybe bridge across a little bit, we can make it. It's great speed bridging above water because if something goes wrong and you fall, well, you just land on water. But now I've got to try and land this MLG and yeah, <laughs> could not afford to miss that. I would have died. But hey, you've got to do something to keep life exciting. And now we have the coveted elytra. And a bit more gold, which is nice. I don't need those boots, but I'll tell you what, a nice shovel and lots more iron. I'll take a saddle. I don't really think I'm going to need it, but you never know. And with that, I can fly back up here and I'm now on the hunt for some sugar cane. Also, <laughs> I just realized I um, didn't have my elytra on. I'm glad I landed in water there. Since it's dark, it's probably my best interest to get some sleep. And sugar cane has been spotted. If I'd have been smart, I actually would have left it as being dark and then I could have got creepers during the night. What have we got here? A shipwreck on land. <laughs> this is a... Uh, Bit of a strange place for a shipwreck. Anything good in here? Lots more iron. To be honest, I'm kind of maxing out in the iron area. And this could be very useful, actually, if there's a chest here. Yeah, with paper. And with my paper, I can put that with my gunpowder. Let's also see where the buried treasure is. Um, It's north, whichever way north is. Yes, this way. It's kind of northwest. And since I have Elytra getting there has never been quicker. It also makes end cities much easier because I can just go straight to the top. Now then, do we have some leggings? Oh, look at this. Perfect. <laughs> First chest, exactly what I wanted. Oh my goodness, look at that. A looting two sword. And this is mending and prot, so it's even better than that chest plate. This is amazing. There is behind me on the left there a treasure bastion, which could be my ticket to getting netherite. But first, let's go down here and grab the buried treasure, which should be right about here. Yeah, perfect. With iron, gold, fish, and a diamond. I'm currently trying to work out what I really need diamonds for now. And this bastion is normally very, very dangerous, but thanks to the piglins, 
Now being like this, we don't have to worry at all. Oh my goodness, I did not expect to see this. This looks amazing. So, all this lava. How have I got minor fatigue? Where is the monument? Are you kidding me? I can't get rid of that now. I'm just going to have to go into this chest. Oh, look at that. We've got ancient debris. We've got netherite. Okay, we're going to be getting netherite stuff now, guys. I'm going to take this opportunity to fly on out of here. Where on earth is that monument? It's literally right by it. Wait, it's like submerged into it. That's so cool. Although not cool for me since I now have mining fatigue and I need to find a cow. And that desert temple is literally eating a house and it's got an igloo in it as well. And that entity has literally spawned on a mountain so it's so high in the sky. We may be finding all these cool things but all I really want is a cow. Hello good sir. Let me just do that. Let me drink your milk. Your services are very much appreciated. Now this little bit of sugarcane that we have can be turned into rockets. Definitely want to check out this entity at some point, but let's first go and look at the desert temple. I don't want to be too close to it. <laughs> don't want mining fatigue again. I wonder if I go through here and then we just make a little doorway. Look at that. <laughs> Straight into the desert temple. And this is really strange. In the corner of here. See, these are just structures you would never normally get right next to each other. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have anything below it, but if we break this, we can get back out and then we can head down here. Let's land that. Okay, well, that was a great MLG. Looting one, not that important. I don't need all this sand. I need to remember to take the gunpowder, though. That is important. These desert temples are useless. <laughs> the best I got there was a golden apple, but I don't really need that. Let's see what this end ship has. I kind of want a pickaxe now. In fact, let's take you out of my sword, and then I've got the looting effect on it. There we go. Another shulker box, and more leggings, and the pickaxe. You see, you just ask for a pickaxe, and you get the pickaxe. Great to also have more diamonds. And this is actually an upgrade for me as a helmet. I feel like I am starting to amass too much stuff. But let's turn this ancient debris. What can we What can we even cook here? We've got some wood. That then makes netherite scrap. But we do already have an ingot. So if we go ahead and make ourselves a smithing table. And then we can put that there. And <laughs> look at this. We have a prop for netherite chest plate. Which I'm not going to use just yet since I have the elytra on. But I feel like the main places for me to visit now are bastions to get more netherite. Look at that. A fourth piece of netherite scrap. So if we combine that with gold, we're sorted. And I always like to get this achievement if we just do that. There we go. The old old Betsy achievement. Let's put that there. Add in the gold and netherite ingot. And that now gives me netherite leggings. I think, I think I'm going to go for max armor. I don't know. Do I really want to go underwater to another bastion? We, we might as well. It's a chest over here with... <laughs> Seems like such a weird chest to find in an overworld. Is that a better shovel? Efficiency 5, efficiency 3. Yeah, I reckon that's better. Oh my goodness. Whoa. What are these get? The older... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Just don't die. That's it. Smithing table. We're, we're going to miss you. All right. Where am I? Found a random chest. Oh, with two pieces of ancient debris. Well, that kind of fell on my feet there. Well, those zoglings kind of made me... Wait, I hear... I heard those guys getting mad. I don't think they're getting mad at me, though, are they? Kind of curious to know now. Are you guys angry? Ah, oh, you're, you're pretty chilled out. Let's just fly out of here, though. <laughs> don't trust myself in there. Now, the overworld has been great. There's so many things. I, I, actually, let's first go to... No, you know what? We're not going to do... There is still structures in the nether. So I reckon we see what we can find over there. And despite having loads of diamond stuff and loads of obsidian, I'm still going to make it the old-fashioned way. Let's see what we can find in the nether. Okay, we have spawned in what would normally be a terrible, terrible place. However, because we can fly, it's not so bad. Now then, right now, you're probably thinking, this isn't so good. Yeah, there's a bastion here, which is kind of nice, but... It's not that amazing, but don't worry. I'm going to show you the best place here to find so many structures. Now, already, that kind of looks like a structure. I can't really work out how to get to it. I'm just going to leave it, I think. All right, I, I have just done the worst thing ever. <laughs> I don't even want to tell you what I just did. I took a long staircase up here, painstakingly. It wasn't actually that bad since I have a really powerful pickaxe. And I attempted to jump across to there and missed and <laughs> went all the way back down. Now, then, this could be an amazing... Oh, wow, look at this. It's beautiful down here. I kind of just... And join explore. I've got to be a little bit careful. If I land in the lava, it will be the end of SP737. All I want to do is find a warped forest. Surely that's not too much to ask. Okay, I'm taking a risk here, but I believe I can make this. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Gliding gracefully across to a stupid soul sand valley. If I brought more firework rockets, it probably would have just solved all my problems. But then again, that, that'd be too easy. I have an idea. If I can lure this strider over to here. Come on. Come on, little fella. I'll do whatever it takes. To be honest, this bit's a little bit evil, but... I I needed string. And then I would be able to make a fishing rod if I had some sticks. No need to panic. The nether is built for people like me who are complete idiots sometimes. Now I can make a fishing rod. Turn that into a warped fungus on a stick. And now despite owning an elytra, I can jump on this strider and uh, start going around. Finally, I have located a warped forest and got hot tourist destinations with it. Now all I need to find is an enderman. Okay, now if I jump off. All right, you have served me well, little strider. I'll see you later. And here we have my first enderman. And with looting two, I'm pretty confident we should get an ender pearl. Yep, we did. Now we're going to head up. We place two ladders like that. Take my ender pearl. And if I throw that, there we go. We're on the surface. And look what we found up here. Yeah, not only end cities, villages, <laughs> all sorts of structures 
as spawning up here. Hi, Shulkers. You guys are meant to be guarding this place. You <laughs> didn't do a very good job. Turns out to be the worst end city for loot, apart from the end ship. That's probably the only good place. And I'm gliding my way over there. Look at that. There's even Enderman up here. <laughs> I really feel like I'm in the end. Probably a good idea to repair my Electra because at the moment, as you can see, they're quite broken, so we might as well get a new pair. I bet you've never seen one of these before. A nether village. I mean, these guys, you live in some of the toughest places in the world, you guys. But despite that, the threat... Whoa, <laughs> it's a shipwreck. Actually, this could be very, very useful. Because if there's one thing you get on shipwrecks, it's paper. And this one has got a lot of paper. With that, we can make more fire rockets. I just need more gunpowder now, and... There might be some desert temples. We can fly around and have a look. I think desert temples might actually spawn underneath the bedrock, so... <laughs> we'll see if we find some, though. Look at that. He has no idea that they're being watched. I mean, how do you live up here? I mean, you must love life in <laughs> in <laughs> the middle of nowhere, that's for sure. Look at attacking me. I'm going to get out of here. What on earth is this? This is a basalt end city. I have never, ever seen anything like this before. Literally... What? It's just... <laughs> it's a new type of structure, guys. The Basalt City. And look at this. It's the same on the shipwreck. I didn't even know that. So structures that generate in a Basalt Delta get covered in this. But it looks so, so cool indeed. I feel like we've kind of explored the Nether enough. Let's get back to the overworld and find a way to get Ender Pearls. This is why I'm glad that I brought the Obsidian. Let's light it up and see what we've got. We must have gone a long way. <laughs> we are in the middle of nowhere. I'm assuming we can see straight. I mean, end cities, they're everywhere. Not too bothered about jungle temples. Let's just see if we can find probably a fortress and a mansion. I definitely want to find a mansion. Here we go. A woodland mansion has been found. The <laughs> blacksmith, you know, this is a bad place for a village, guys. You, you really think this is a good idea? Under normal circumstances, this would have been an amazing blacksmith. But <laughs> since I've been to an end city, yeah, you're, you're kind of useless. Now then, we found the front door. Let's take our elytra off. We have got netherite armor, so we should be able to handle this. People like you. Absolutely no threat. Not even going to waste my time down there. Let's go to the next floor. Anything useful in this chest? <laughs> you know what? I'm just a bone collector today. I can hear an evoker. I just can't see. Okay, now I can see one as well. Okay, you guys pack up. Let me just back up a little bit here. Just carefully get rid of you. There we go. No problem. Gapple up. And let's go and deal with this evoker. All right, big fella. You may have a bodyguard, but he's now gone. I don't know where your vexes are, but there we go. We've got a totem. Let's equip that. Perfect. And there's another guy here. Let's see what you've got this time, eh? Okay, this time you actually did summon the vex. Yeah, all right. I take it all back, sir. You, you're pretty powerful after all. <laughs> just kidding. He's gone now. Get rid of you. I could actually use these. Oh, no, I'm, I'm close to death here. Let's just avoid these vexes now. We, do, we don't want to die after we got the totems. I'm on half a heart. Post mortal. Okay, well played. Let's just keep moving. All right, that's why we get the totems. It's all right. We've got a second one. Let's just... Equip that. <laughs> kind of ironic that you lose your totem while trying to get more totems. All in all, a pretty successful experience. In hardcore, they're just so difficult on mobs like that. Still on the hunt for a notch apple if I can find one, but they are incredibly, incredibly rare. About one in ten desert temples will have one. I'm also still on the search for a fortress. We, we kind of need to get our stuff to get to the end now, don't we? we? We're kind of messing about on that. But when you see a desert temple, you just can't say no. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Are you all right, good sir? This must be the worst life you've ever had. Let's get you out of here. Come on. This is what the outside world is like. No, don't go into there, mate. <laughs> Man, I kind of want to uh, I want to do something to him. Is this evil? Yeah, it most probably is. But is it going to be funny? <laughs> it's going to be very, very funny indeed. <laughs> Say goodbye, old villager. Yeah, I, you know what? I um, kind of feel a little evil. I really don't know what happened to me. <laughs> I used to be these villagers' friend. You don't often see a desert temple that is in the snow. Or even better, a fortress in the snow. This looks, this looks insane. We have here a blaze spawner, but whether or not it actually works. Oh wait, blaze is spawning as well. Looks like it's time to get serious. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's maybe not be too serious and get taken out. Wait, does, does it even work? Well, with the skeletons as well? Alrighty, I need to be very careful. I should put my, uh, well, what's going on here? As I was saying, I should put my chest plate on just to be safe. And now if we get set on fire, at least it won't be too dangerous. And now that it's going dark, the spawners are working as well. Alrighty. This looting two sword is very, very good. Look at that. We can even put ourselves out when we're, we're set on fire. This spawn is also working. These, If these all drop, oh, look at this. Perfect. We're going to have enough in no time at all. I've got eight blaze rods. I don't think I'm going to need more, but I might as well get one more for good measure. There we go. Instead, I think I would now like to try and get some obsidian, go back to the nether and trade with piglins to get the pearls because I have got so, so much gold. Also, my elytra are basically broken, which is why I'm getting a new pair. Not a lava lake, but this room portal is probably my key to getting through. I think so. I can first mine up this crying obsidian with my efficiency pickaxe and then place one obsidian there, one obsidian there, and then if we just grab a corner piece, we can put that in the middle. 
then I need to find my flint and steel. There we go, it's right there. We can light that, we can head through, and we can find a piglin. Of course, I have mice to spawn in the one and only place that I will never find a piglin. <laughs> Maybe I'll just fly to a bastion. Speaking of bastions, this looks like one to me. I also forgot that this is the kind of place I'll have to deal with piglin brutes and, and just regular piglins. Let's just put them both in lava, that's it. Uh, useless, absolutely useless. Oh my, okay, what's going on here? Just fly out, that's it. Okay, no need to panic. We've got gapples. Let's just eat a gapple. Alrighty. Um, I did not expect there to be a massive gap right there. Thankfully, we somehow got out of that unscathed. To be honest, this bastion is completely different to how they normally generate. I, I don't know if it's something to do with the basalt messing it up. We have a piglin here. Let's just trade with him. So far, I've managed to get 12 ender pearls from this guy. I, I can't really be bothered waiting any longer. In 1.16.5, it's so slow. I think I'm just going to try and go to the stronghold. So let's build this portal. We can then light it. Let's quickly one last check to see if we get any more pearls. We didn't. It'll be all right. And of course, we have spawned underground. Although if we come across some endermen, then that's going to be helpful. Because with the looting two sword, we're bound to get a few ender pearls. We've now successfully made it out. Am I going to use up all this obsidian? Yes, I am. Let's make our eyes of ender. Which way are we going? We're going that way. And I can't believe it, but <laughs> that one already broke. So <laughs> already I'm down to 11 eyes of ender. Let's nicely land on top of this. It looks like there's loads of structures over there. Look at that. It's a fortress next to a mansion, next to a pillager outpost. It's, it's got an ender city nearly on top of it. Which way is the eye going? Oh, it's going back this way. So actually we're super close already. And this one didn't break, thank goodness for that. So according to my calculations, it's it's kind of anywhere around here. Let's see if this narrows it down. Yeah, it's basically, yeah, it's basically where I said it was. Right about here. And I'm going to be risky and I'm just going to dig straight down because I don't want to use more eyes up. Mission one was <laughs> unsuccessful. Although there is spiders somewhere in this direction. I don't know if they're above. But I know they're, they're to the side. Okay. Somewhere in here. I think they're above me. But uh, we are in a mineshaft and... Okay, I wasn't that far away. <laughs> wasn't as far away as I thought I was. Probably a good idea to turn that into that, and then we could get ourselves some more water. Into this room, we've got silverfish. I'm in a cobweb. Imagine if this is how I die. That would be a... a well, I've just done it again. <laughs> a very sad way to die, though, wouldn't it? Death by silverfish while stuck in a cobweb. Now, I'm guessing... Yeah, look at that. Secret room. Sneaky stuff. All right, we want to go back this way. We're going to try and go back to the beginning first. And this is the starting room, so we're very, very close. Anything behind here? Nope. I don't think there'll be anything there then. It looks like there's only there's only a couple of ways to go here then. And this way was a dead end. So the way that I was is the only way. I feel like that sentence made no sense, but we're going with it. Please be an ender pearl. Oh, diamond. Yeah, yeah, diamond's great. Exactly. What, I don't know. The game gives you diamonds when you, all you want is an ender pearl. I can hear silverfish. And all right, we found the portal room and zero eyes. Are you kidding me? So we put all these in. We're still one shot. That means I either need to find an enderman or find an ender pearl. We have a chest right here. And there's an ender pearl. Perfect. So that's the only eye of ender we need. We might as well just head straight to the end now. I'm just hoping that I can remember the way. No, it's not this way. I think, yeah, it's up here. Very easy to get lost in these strongholds. It was one of the worst strongholds I think I've ever been to. But now I have my bow. I have my rockets. And there's an, <laughs> there's an igloo here. We're just going to ignore that and uh, focus on these crystals. Tell you what, if you've never fought the ender dragon using an elytra, you've got to try it. It's so much fun. We've just got this tower to do. And then these two, which are boxed up. And I usually die when I, uh, well, I don't usually die. Yeah, something like that usually happens, which is why I should just be it. Oh my goodness, I was just about, you know what, forget what I was just about to say. Let's just get rid of this guy. Well, who do you think you are? I mean, if you deal with Enderman correctly, they're not really that hard to deal with. Whoa, the dragon just flew into me and uh, did a lot of damage. Imagine if I die fighting this. Let's just get rid of this tower. I'm going to put on my chest plate just for safety and uh, let's finish this guy off. And now he's coming down. We can probably finish him off. Oh, well, it might take a couple of perches because I didn't bring any beds. That's one thing you don't get from the end city. OP bows. Yeah. <laughs> Get everything else OP, but not bows. Oh my goodness, in the midst of the battle, I didn't even realize we had two villagers down here. Now, I, I don't want to alarm you guys, but uh, there is a roaring dragon up there, but I'll keep you guys safe down here. Oh my goodness, wait, the dragon's just... I hope you guys are right. I might, might lured the dragon down here accidentally. Let's just get out of here while I can. What a mess. It's ruined the igloo. What a... It was a great igloo before I went down there. What's that dragon doing? It's just gliding through the floor, attacking it. Will you just be nice? Basically, every single Enderman is now angry at it. Except for this one who's angry at me. Will you go away? Actually, I looked at all of them. I'm an idiot. Actually, these guys are the idiots for thinking that they can take out me. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm placing a bed on this guy. There we go. We've got another bed somewhere. Okay, I'm going to be a little bit careful I don't get too damaged here. But I, I should be all right. Let's get him down quite low. Let's put a bet. Yeah, let's do this. I reckon we get this. We go like that. Oh, it's so weak. So, so weak. Let's just land some arrow shots. I mean, can it be done? Oh, it's it's got to be done. One more shot, surely. Okay. Usually I say one more shot and it's about five more shots, but I'm pretty sure. There we go. We got him. And with the dragon defeated, we can head through and <laughs> yeah, we're greeted with an end city.